George Washington Park Custis, and his sister Nellie were raised at Mount Vernon by George and Martha Washington. When Martha Washington died in 1802 her will bequeathed, all of her silver to her grandson, George Washington Park Custis. Custis died in 1857 and the silver passed to his daughter Mary, the wife of Robert E. Lee. Mary and Robert E. Lee lived in Arlington House until 1861 when Virginia seceded from the Union and Lee went south to join the Confederate Army. The Washington silver was packed into trunks and sent to Richmond. Lee then sent the trunks on to the Virginia Military Institute, VMI, in Lexington, Virginia for safekeeping. Here the silver remained safe until June, 1864, when Union General David Hunter raided the Valley of Virginia and advanced on Lexington. The Washington silver was saved from destruction by the actions of the VMI Superintendent Francis Smith and Ordnance Sergeant John Hampsey. As federal troops advanced on Lexington, Smith ordered Hampsey to bury the two large trunks that held the Washington silver. As the buildings on the VMI campus burned, the Washington silver lay safely hidden beneath the ground. After the war, Robert E. Lee became the president of Washington College in Lexington. In the fall of 1865, as the Lees settled into their new home, they called upon their trusty friend, John Hampsey, to help unearth the two large chests of buried treasure. Hampsey escorted Robert E. Lee Jr. to the burial site, and the general's son later reminisced, I was sent out with him to dig it up and bring it in. We found it safe and sound, but black with mold and damp. The Washington Silver remained in the Lee's home at Washington College until Mary's death in 1873, after which the silver was bequeathed to all branches of the family. Some of the descendants have donated pieces to the Mount Vernon Ladies Association, the custodians of George Washington's Mount Vernon estate, 